Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to cook a cake in the Ninja Combi All-in-One Multi-Cooker Oven and Air Fryer. So the cake turned out really moist and nice and tastes delicious. I'm gonna show you exactly how I was able to cook it in this Ninja Combi. So I've got the cake mix made. It's in a standard eight inch round pan. So we're gonna use the Ninja Combi cooker. So we're gonna take this top part out. This is level two, we're gonna take this out. We're gonna leave this in, but we're gonna put since we're going to use, we're going to use this combi bake feature. It says it has gentle steam, rapid cyclonic air to create fluffier, more even cakes faster than an oven. So step one with that is we're going to leave the, cr the crisper tray in and we're going to put a cup of water right here underneath the, the crisper tray. That's what's going to create the steam. Now there's a heating element down here. This is going to heat that water up and create the steam. And there's also an air fryer. There's also a heating element up above and a fan. So with the water in it, you're simply going to slide it in and you're simply going to place your, your eight inch pan on top of the crisper tray. Okay. So now you're going to close the door. We're going to turn it on. We're going to flip the switch to combi cooker. Then we're going to come down here to the function. We're going to do combi bake. Now it says to use the temperature that your box instruction wants, but you're to cut the time in half. So we are going to set it to 350. So for two, eight inch round pans, 34 to 38 minutes. So I'm going to put this for about 20 minutes. So let's go to time. Let's go up to 20 minutes. And then all you do is hit the start button. Now there's going to be a status bar is going across. That's letting you know that it's getting the water up to temperature to create that steam. And then once it has the steam going, then the countdown timer will start. Okay. So the status bars are going across. We're already at the 11 minute mark. You know, the fan has been kicking on and off. I can tell the cake is baking a little bit and it's definitely generating some steam in there. I'm getting a little bit of steam coming out the vent. So a little over the 15 minute mark. We're almost all the way across. The cake is really rising in there and we've got quite a bit of steam coming out. Okay. So right about the 20 minute mark, it comes out of the, the bars going across and now the countdown timer starts. And now we can, let's just open it up and take a peek. Okay, so since it's already kind of been cooking for 20 minutes, it's got another 20 minutes to go. I would definitely keep checking it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it, make sure there's, you'd use a toothpick, make sure no batter comes out. So it's, it's getting done really quick. I like that when you shut the door, it just picks up where it left off. It's pretty much done creating the steam and now it's just baking. You can hear the fan on a little bit. Okay, so I'm calling mine done. I've been sticking um, something in it and no batter's coming out on it. So let's go ahead and turn it off. It does seem like it's really moist. Again, I've been poking it and nothing is coming out. Okay, so let's see how the cake comes out. Wow. So the cake was not done. So it looks like it, well, no, I think it's done. There was just a, a little bit sticked. It's all done. Yeah. Okay. So it is very moist and it's, it's moist all the way around. It's not like there's no hard edges. You know, the top's not even hard. It just, it, it is actually really moist. Let's give it a taste. Wow. It tastes really good. Okay, so you may have noticed I did have to, this is Ninja's own uh, eight inch cake pan, but it doesn't fit in there. I had to, I had to put another uh, air fryer basket in there to, so it would stick up above a little bit there. It just didn't quite fit in the pan. So I really wasn't expecting it to take 20 minutes for that line to go across because earlier when I did um, some shrimp to do the steaming, it didn't take that long at all. It only took about seven or eight minutes, but that took 20 minutes for that line to go across. Then the countdown timer started. So it's not something you can walk away from. Again, it does not need much time because it does a lot of cooking when it's building up that steam. And this was a pretty thick one. I used a lot of the batter in this one. I was supposed to put half of it in that one and half of it, but I ended up putting about three fourths of it in this one. So did it save time? I think it saved about 10 minutes. You know, I had 20 minutes of heating and about five to eight minutes of cooking. So yeah, about 28 minutes, so about 10 minutes. That's kind of interesting technology they're using of, of having that steam boil 
and then using the combination of the air fryer, the heating element, kind of all of that working together in harmony to create, uh, to bake with. Now I could have just baked, I could have switched this over to air fry and I could have just used, um, put the pan in there and just, there is a, a section here for bake on the air fry side, but it wouldn't have been using water because when you're using the, the combi cooker on this side, that's when they're kind of expecting that bottom heating element to kind of boil some water in there to create steam, turn the heating element on, and that's what helps cook. But when you're doing just air fryer, you're not having water in there. Next up, I'm gonna do some french fries. So I'm gonna treat it just like a standard air fryer. We're gonna cook some french fries in it. This thing's very impressive. I absolutely love how the protein is kept up above and the, the pasta and the rice are down below. And I had just cooked shrimp and pasta or shrimp and rice and I don't taste any of that or smell that in the cake. And all I did was just a simple wipe down on the inside after I was done cooking earlier. This is the model number SFP701. It does retail for $229. I will put links to it to Amazon and Ninja. I am an Amazon and a Ninja affiliate. If you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a commission from the sale. I bought this product with my own money. So I am going to be doing a comparison. This thing has a lot of similarities with the Ninja Speedy. I'm going to be doing a comparison next. Also, check out my coffee. I'm working on a bag design right now. It's going to be just a dad simple sip coffee. Um, it's a dark roast and it tastes really good. Be sure and check out my Just A Dad uh, videos group page on Facebook. I'll be doing free giveaways on there. The products that I review, I'll be giving them away. Behind the scenes on my new podcast that's coming up, Coffee With Dad. I'll be interviewing different professions people work at, teacher, truck driver. If there's any profession you would like to see me interview, um, please leave in the comments down below or you can on, on this uh, Just A Dad videos group Facebook page. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that really does help me out. And if you could hit the subscribe button, if you want to see more reviews of Ninja products, they just released this. And I had to get it and I thought, I didn't think much of it when it first came out. I thought, well, what's another air fryer oven? Um, I, again, but I'm absolutely, I, I love it. It is very well thought out, I think. And I can definitely see this replacing air fryer and an oven. Now, they say it will do steak. I haven't done a steak on it yet. But it looks really nice. doesn't take up a bunch of room. I got another review where I got a detailed review. I do all the measurements in that. And I cook a, a dish. A, using the combi cooker, I cooked the protein up above and the rice down below. And it, it was an amazing dish. And that was fast. And it, again, it didn't have to preheat that long. So again, thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.